everyone, welcome back to another video. So I've had loads of people ask me to do this video and I've been wanting to do it for ages but it's such a huge topic that doing it in one video just seemed a bit much. So I'm going to break it down into a few smaller videos. And this one's going to focus on identifying vintage clothing by the tags. So there's loads of different things to take into account when you're trying to figure out if something is really vintage or not and in this video we'll just be focusing on one of them aspects which is the tags. Now for something to be vintage it has to be at least 20 years old which is kind of crazy because now technically something from like the year 2000 can be classed as vintage. So you've got new vintage which is more like your 90s and now 2000s and your older vintage which is you know your 30s, 40s. And specifically in this video I'm going to be talking about clothing and just for the record I'm not an expert at all. Uh, this is just all stuff that I've come across whilst being into buying and selling vintage clothing in the last couple of years. And these are all things that I've had to research and find out for myself and it's really not as easy as it seems. It takes ages, I'm still learning all the time. So this is just some of the things that have been really helpful to me and hopefully it will help you. So the most obvious thing is going to be the tag and the logo. Sometimes you can just tell when a tag looks old by the style of the writing, the brand and stuff. But a really good indicator that, that an item is vintage is if it's a brand that you know, like for example, just take Mark, Marks and Spencers, if it's a brand that you know but the tag looks really different to what you're used to seeing, that's a good indicator that that's a vintage tag. And the best place to check labels is a site called Vintage Fashion Guild which I'll link down below. They have a label resource where you can type in the brand. So for example, I'll put it here, I typed in Nike and yay my battery went, but we're back. Right, so what I was saying was on that site you can type in any brand. So for example here I typed in Nike. So on this site you can see it'll give you a table and it gives you pictures of the labels so it's so easy to go on there and find you know if you have a t-shirt with a certain Nike label and you've no idea if it's like 80s or 90s you can go on here and check it out they have trainers on there as well the one that I found like invaluable is the St Michael list so I'll put that on here as well and I'll link it down below if you want to have a look at that one of the most popular tags to look out for on vintage clothing is the union made tags. Now I went down like a Wikipedia wormhole um, looking up the history of all these tags and it's super interesting but they date back to 1920s and the most popular one that I've come across is the ILGWU which is the International Ladies Garment Workers Union and I have a few different tables which I'm just going to put up on my website where you can download them for free if you want them. They're very, very simple, so <laughs> be warned. But as I go through these videos and I'll make these tables, I'll add them all to my website, uh, which I'll also link down below. So if you come across the United Hatters of North America label, that's pre-1930s and on usually on women's hats. And in 1934, the Hatters Union joined forces with the Millinery Works and they can be found with this kind of label which has like a globe, like a squished globe and hands shaking each other. It usually has like six digits and the number six on it. So these two unions merged together during the Great Depression and it was all to get, you know, fair working conditions and fair pay for garment workers, factory workers. So if you come across this label with the blue eagle on a label, that's from items dating back 1930 to 1935 and that's from the National Recovery Administration which I also came across this video. You and you and you and you, you've got a president now. He gave the land a new deal. You hold the cards now you deal. Which I'll link down below if anyone's interested in watching the whole thing. I love watching old videos like that. And this sign dates from 1938 to 64 and it's the coat and suit industry and it's a circle and along the bottom it will say National Recovery Board. So you know that that's between like 1940s to 1960s. Now this sign is the New York Creations or sometimes New York Industries it will say but it has the outline of like the New York skyline so it's easy to recognise. This was like the super high-end fashion people back in the day and it was from uh, 1940 to 1950 and this group of people went on to develop you know New York Fashion Week which I just thought was super interesting. So if you come across this label this is the Amalgamated Workers and and that sign looks like this it's a rectangle with a sewing machine on it and that will tell you that that item of clothing is dated anywhere between 
1930 to 1976 when that group kind of dissolved and became a new group. So the ILGW in the circle is the one that I've come across the most. So you get the letters at the top and then you'll get some letters underneath and depending on what these letters are it will tell you what decade they're from. I'll put it on the screen and um, but I've also got a really really simple download which I'll link down below if you want it. It's just in a table, I'll show it here. It's super super simple but if you want it it's linked down below. So here's a picture of one of the skirts I've got on eBay at the minute. Using my super simple chart I could tell because the label is red, blue and white. That means that that skirt was from between 1974 and 1995 I think. The next kind of label which is super helpful in identifying vintage clothing is the care label. Um, obviously this doesn't apply to handmade items but the regulation for having care labels in clothes didn't come in until 1970 so, so if you have an item of clothing that's not handmade and doesn't have a care label that's a good indicator that it might be pre 1970s but it's not a complete definite. You need to take into account a whole lot of other things such as zips, stitching style and materials which I'll be talking about in other videos. So the other thing is sizing. Vintage clothing runs really small. So I'm a size like 10 and 12 in modern day clothes but in vintage clothes I'm like 16, 14, 16, sometimes bigger. So if you have a item that you think is probably vintage and it does have a size label on but you measure it and it comes up smaller then that's another indicator that it is probably a vintage item. If you have an item that doesn't have a size label on and it's not handmade that tells you it's probably before 1960s because that's when the regulation came in that it you know has to have a size label. If your item's made of wool and it's not handmade and it doesn't have the wool mark labeling then it's probably before 1940 when that came into play but not always because I don't know if it still works the same now but to use the wool mark picture you had to pay so you know some companies just didn't want to do that but it is just another indicator. Now the wool mark has a few different styles which I'll put up here um, the first one came out in 1964. So if you have an item with that wool mark on, you know it's from 1964 or above. The second one is from 1970 and the third is from 1999. The next one to look out for is unusual material names. So if you have, I have a dress that is, I can't remember what it has but I'll put a picture of it here as the material which is something you've never seen anymore. Probably because it's like a fire hazard or something. <laughs> But that material can give you an idea that it is a vintage item and the best thing you can do is google the name of that material and you will find something that it will tell you giving you an idea of the kind of dates that that material was used. So like I mentioned before the best resource for looking up vintage labels is on the Vintage Fashion Guild which I'll link down below. I hope that was helpful and thank you for watching everyone. I will see you in the next one.